The digital industry has always have been a fast-moving industry, very fast-paced. But in the last recent years, and the, probably the coming few years as well, this change has been so much uh, big in terms of magnitude and fast in terms of speed. And to be able to have a proper workforce that are digitally enabled, they have the right skill set, the right talents, um, to actually get the benefits out of this uh, huge digital uh, revolution, evolution that we're seeing right now, uh, I think digital skills is one of the mo most important corner stores of this digital industry. A platform like the Digital Skills Forum is extremely important because it brings together partnerships and can build this kind of ecosystem between industry, uh, private sector, public sector, uh, civil society, academia, all together, all the different types and diverse membership of the ITU are actually here talking about digital skills and how to bridge this digital skills gap. So this is an extremely important forum because it's not only about the transactional one way from uh, an entity that provides trainings to the workforce or ICT professionals, it's more of an ecosystem that, ha that have to bring all the membership of the ITU that are very diverse together in such a forum. It's extremely important to understand that it's a holistic approach. I mean, it's a, it's a multi-stakeholder effort. We cannot, uh, no, not one single stakeholder can do this by itself. So how to bridge this gap? We need a lot of things from different angles. One angle is from industry, for example, and private sector, which I can speak uh, about. I mean, private sector, we, we have the know-how, we have the solutions and the innovation. This we can provide, but it doesn't work without the uh, public sector and the international organizations such as ITU to provide us with the right policies. Uh, we can collaborate in creating a training curriculum and we can also collaborate with uh, public sector as governments and regulators who can provide the right regulatory framework, environment, policies that can inc incentivize this kind of trainings either on um, the private sector level, like the people, ICT professionals in, in corporates and in companies, but also for individuals who are uh, wi willing to um, have a much better uh, skill set uh, to be digitally enabled and to innovate in this digital skill, uh, uh, digital skills uh, and, and talents that need to be addressed and enhanced. Also, the civil society is extremely important because they know the community, they know the problems where the communities and the markets they're working in. It's extremely important to uh, provide kind of guidance for us as well in terms of what's needed. So this kind of holistic approach is extremely, extremely important uh, in terms of policy, regulations, uh, know-how, technical expertise and innovation. Also, we should not forget the baseline. So it's not only about innovation and the cutting uh, edge technology research and skill set, but we also need to make sure that the people who don't have the basic line of digital literacy needs to have some sort of digital skills to be able to be good users, at least, if not innovators, of technology. And by this, we can have a proper um, kind of bridging a gap uh, solution or approach for the digital skills gap.